What's up everyone? And today we are doing a shoe comparison about the similarities and the differences between two of probably Nike's most popular running shoes. Uh, both of these are older iterations. Obviously the new ones have come out, but I still think that these do hold a very popular relevance in our running shoe rotation even today. So here are the two shoes that I am lining up for you today. And this is the Nike Epic React Flying It 2. Don't mind the colorway. I just, this is a shoe that I actually found at a discount store uh, in the area for a really, really good price, uh, which is part of the reason why I purchased this. But yes, this is a men's running shoe, just to let you know. Uh, yes, men's running shoe. Uh, this particular running shoe is called White Black Pink Blast is what it's called. So that's that's why it's out there. I actually think it's kind of cool, uh, to be honest with you, that the citrus, uh, orange color, the pink, uh, the white, uh, just really cool shoe. So that is the Nike Epic React Fly Knit 2, what you see right here. And then what eventually replaced it was this shoe right here, which is the Nike Infinity Run Flyknit. This is the first iteration. The second iteration has just been released not that long ago, a few weeks ago, actually. Uh, so, but this is the older version. So this actually replaced this uh, in Nike's lineup. Uh, so we're going to try to break this down and see the differences between the two shoes. Now, this, when it came out, was definitely a lightweight daily trainer running shoe with a bit of stability in this. And Nike kind of liked the idea of it. The heel clip that was back here, the kind of wide uh, forefoot Nike, nice cushioning with that Nike React foam. Nike really had a really good idea with this. And then that flying it upper that gives you kind of like a booty sock like feel to your foot uh, really just kind of added to it. And Nike kind of went and said, what can we do to make this shoe better and make this kind of a, I don't want to say a stability shoe, but it kind of leaned that way as this is, it became a shoe that as this one kind of helped reduce injury uh, to your to your uh, your legs, your feet, your hips, all that kind of stuff. This shoe kind of uh, helped reduce injuries with its ideas and technology on it. Nike decided, what can we do to take it one step further? In which they came out with this, which is very similar in concept. Flying it upper, so it gives you that sock-like booty feel. Uh, has the same type of uh, heel collar right here where there's no padding on it whatsoever just full flying it upper but a fairly stout uh heel counter here uh mainly due to the plastic kind of overlay that's uh, around the back here but you still have that big heel clip that's right back here uh that you also get on the uh in epic react right here so there are a lot of similarities. The uppers are almost exactly the same how they feel. Very stretchy, uh, very breathable. I would say this upper, the way the toe box feels, is much more like the Odyssey React flying it too, uh, in the way that it just feels in its breathability and its stretchiness and the way that it kind of conforms to your foot. It's very much like the Odyssey React flying it twos. Uh, but the Odyssey React, you know, it pretty much ends after that because from about the midfoot section back, it's a completely different material. It has a padded heel collar, nice heel counter to it. So uh, the Odyssey React is, you know, a, a, almost a completely different shoe. That being said, I'm not going to lie, the ride quality of this feels very similar to the Odyssey React Flying It 2s. Uh, just the way that it feels, but it has more stack height to it than the Odyssey React. So that to me is a positive. I love shoes with higher stack height um, just because it's a little bit more cushion. I'm a bigger guy. So I like that little bit more cushion underfoot than maybe some other runners, but uh, 
you know, this shoe does a fantastic job. Uh, already had conflicting reports on its stack height um, because one website I went to said that the stack height on the shoe was a 12 millimeter in the front and uh, 20, uh, 22 in the back for a 10 mil drop. Here's the problem that I have with that. I know that's not a 12 mil uh, stack height in the toe because my Odyssey Reacts have a 12 mil and they sit much lower to the ground than these do. Um, I'm actually going to say that that's probably closer to like 17 or 19. But again, I probably need to go on Nike's website and figure it out. Um, that was from another website that I went to. I can't remember, but uh, wasn't too fond of, of the, the numbers that they were putting up on this thing. Uh, the feel, though, of the upper overall feels almost exactly like the Infinity Run. I mean, they, they feel almost exactly identical to each other as far as the feel is concerned of it. Now, the stack height on the Infinity, the React Infinity Flyknits, is much higher. Much higher stack height. So there is a lot more foam here and here. 10 mil drop is what Nike says. 10 mil drop. This shoe has a more exaggerated rocker profile for it. So it kind of just helps you roll through your stride, just roll through the stride almost effortlessly uh, with this shoe. That's where I think the big difference is between the Epic React and this, which is what replaced it, uh, really differ from each other. This rocker design, even though it's still there, you can still see it, is not as pronounced when you're running as this one. This one just rolls effortlessly through each stride. I love the way this shoe feels as far as its run quality is concerned. It just, it's effortless. It's almost like, and I haven't, you know, ran in any Hoka's. So I don't, I can't really compare it to a Hoka's roll, but it's almost kind of like the glide ride or the Evo ride, where it just has that roll to save your energy. It's, it's kind of like that, but it, it starts all the way from the heel and works its way forward. It's not just like a midfoot forward, like the Evo and the glide ride are. It's pretty much all the way through the foot strike as you're just rolling through. It just, it feels really good under feet. Plus, I just, I love the React foam sitting underneath, that big stack height of React foam sitting underneath really fantastic but the uppers like i said the way that the uppers feel they feel very similar uh but almost the similarities end right there between the two shoes and a lot of people love the epic react and i can see why because this is a very lightweight shoe when you compare the infinity to the epic the epic feels lighter i mean much lighter and I think a lot of that has to do with what's underneath. If you look underneath, you only have this section of rubber right back here, and you've got this section of rubber way up in the forefoot area. But from right at the ball of your foot area, almost all the way back to your heel is just exposed Nike React foam. And Nike React foam is really durable I don't know how long this is going to last for me because, I, like I said, I'm a heavier runner. I don't know how long this is going to last for me underneath uh, because when you look at the Infinity, look at that. Almost full rubber front to back. I mean, midfoot area is is covered with the exception of these little areas that are that are kind of decoupled in there. But for the most part, it's all... It, you know, rubberized and hard, hard rubber too. It's, it's hard rubber. Uh, and then you have this really wide toe area right up there. I mean, they are putting them side by side. You can clearly see the, the infinity is just so much wider, even in the, the heel area, it's so much wider. Uh, so the amount of foam, the added foam that they put in here, plus all of that rubber that's underneath adds to the weight, but it also increases durability and it increases comfort uh, as well. 
this shoe, as I've stated in my video about this, the Infinity, uh, the React Infinity run, this particular shoe is built to reduce injury. That's what it was built for. It was built to be a daily trainer that can reduce injury. It's not a stability shoe. It's just made to reduce injury. So it's a wider platform. It's got the heel clip. It's got all the things to lock you down properly to help reduce injury. And initially that's kind of what this shoe did was, was to say to Nike, hey, this is a shoe that can be lightweight, daily trainer, super comfortable, and it's actually relatively quick. It's quick on its feet, uh, but it's also very stable when you're running down the road. Uh, so in my opinion about these shoes, which one would be the better shoe? Which one would be the one that I would go to? And I think it depends really on the type of run that you're going to do. I would say, and this is just me, I know other people can run longer distances than I can, uh, but to me, kind of a medium distance shoe, uh, 5K, yeah, I'd do 10K in something like this as well. I'd go with the Epic React, I really would. Um, just because it's comfortable for those distances. Now, is it something that I would do a half marathon or a full marathon in? No, I would probably want something with a little bit more cushion, maybe a little bit more durability is concerned, and that's where a shoe like this would come in. This shoe, I think, would be the shoe that I would go the longer distance in. I would take it 10K, half marathon, full marathon. This is the shoe I would go to. But I also feel like this shoe could give you a little bit of a speed penalty, although I'll be honest with you, in my run today, they felt so similar that I don't know if you'd get a speed penalty for it. For wearing this shoe. This shoe just helps roll through your stride so well that I just feel that the amount of energy that you save because the shoe is doing the work for you will allow you to run a faster and pick up a, a much quicker time. This shoe on the other hand because it, it has a, a rocker profile but I just didn't feel that that roll through like I did in the Infinity runs. Um, I also didn't feel like there was a pop in my step. Like there wasn't that bounce like I, I was expecting there to be. It's a really good shoe because it's really comfortable. Uh, but I just didn't get that pop or bounce like I was really expecting uh, to get out of this epic React flying it. That being said... Um, if I were to pick between the two shoes, really hard for me to tell if I'm reaching for one every single day to go for a run in, I'm going to go with the infinity runs, like just, just to be every single day. I know there's a lot of fans out there for the Epic react and a lot of them were pretty hurt when Nike said that they were getting rid of this in favor of this particular shoe. Um, I, you know, to be honest with you, I think Nike made the best decision, which was to move in the direction of this shoe. I, I think they did a fantastic job with the Infinity Run. I can see why there's a huge fan support for this because if I had to pick this or maybe some of my other Nike running shoes, my Odyssey React flying at twos, um, I'd probably pick this over the Odysseys. I, and I love the Odyssey React, I do. They're one of my favorite shoes because it's so quick and so snappy, but I'd pick this just because it ha adds that quick and snappiness to it, maybe not a pop, maybe not a bounce, but it's quick and it's light underfoot and it's actually pretty snappy, but it gives you more cushion. And I like that, I like cushion underneath my feet. So I really think that's a good shoe. Uh, now comparing this to say Nike Pegasus, if I had to pick between this or the Pegasus, I'm not gonna lie guys, okay? So here's a little bit of a thing. Um, I've kind of taken the Pegasus out a couple of times recently uh, to go for a few runs, and I think I finally figured out the shoe. <laughs> it took me 100 miles to do it, but I think I finally figured it out. And I'm actually very pleased with that shoe at the moment. Now, it's not as snappy as the older Pegasus, but if I had to pick between, say, the Epic React 
and the Pegasus, which one would I pick? It's a really hard choice because both are gonna be excellent daily trainers at the moment. I'm actually gonna say the Pegasus 37s, but I like the lockdown of this better. My heel, no slippage in this. The upper locks you down because it's like a sock being put on your foot. It locks you down so well that I would probably pick this over the Pegasus just because of the upper. Now the midsole on the other hand, the midsole and everything, I'd probably go Pegasus because I like that air zoom unit. I think that React foam that's in the Pegasus has a nice bounce to it. The decoupled groove is like a trampoline, so on and so forth. The upper is what's gonna make or break a shoe, to be honest with you. I personally think even though the meat and potatoes is right here, um, I just feel that the, the, um, the upper really does help with that lockdown and making you feel comfortable and secure in the shoe. So I'm gonna go with this over the Pegasus 37, but that's not really the, the battle today. The battle was between these two. Which one am I gonna run, run with every single day? I'm gonna have to go with the Infinity Run. I mean, as much as I get a little bit more heel lift in this shoe than I do this one, no idea why, because the uppers are almost identical. I feel more secure in this one than I do this one, but it's that midsole. The midsole on this one, the design, that rocker design, the durability, everything. I'm going to go with the Infinity Run Flyknit to the Flyknits over the Epic React Flyknit 2s uh, just because of that. So, uh, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll do a separate review. I just took this out for a three and a half mile run today. Um, I could do an initial review, but I'm gonna wait until I hit the 50 miles on these particular shoes. It might be a little while because there's a bunch of other shoes already in the rotation, but uh, who knows? This might actually end up being my shoe that I take uh, to a 5K event that I'm doing next month. Uh, who knows? Uh, maybe this might even be there for an attempt to do one of the virtual 5Ks that I'm also a part of. So um, I guess we'll find out here in a little while. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please click that like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, and as always, guys, enjoy the run.